Her first name's Janet. Miss Jackson, if you're nasty. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Janet Jackson. Oh, you nasty boys. Janet Demita Joe Jackson was born May 16, 1966, in Gary, Indiana, as the youngest of Catherine and Joseph Jackson's children. Following the massive success of her older brothers in the Jackson Five, she made her stage debut at age seven. In 1976, she appeared with her family in the Jackson's Variety Show. Hey, Tito, yeah? there's two girls backstage who want to talk to you. Hey, what I tell you, huh? Didn't believe me, see? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they want you to introduce them to Michael. Yeah. <laughs> this helped her land roles in several television sitcoms during the 70s and 80s, most notably Different Strokes. Jackson's manager father soon convinced her to start recording music. Following a duet with brother Randy, she signed a deal with A&M Records. Thanks to its disco and funk-flavored pop, her 1982 eponymous debut found success on Billboard's top R&B hip-hop albums chart. Jackson continued on the pop path with 1984's Dream Street. Brother Marlon provided production help, while other brothers, including pop sensation Michael, supplied backing vocals on a top 10 R&B single. Despite this, the album barely cracked Billboard. That same year, small screen audiences saw Jackson in the Fame musical series. But I'm telling you one thing, someday you gonna come running after me. Jackson soon asserted her independence. She eloped, though the marriage was quickly annulled, and worked with a new manager and producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. The teen unveiled a more mature side with her 1986 breakthrough, Control. By seamlessly blending R&B, pop, rap, funk, and disco, the well-received effort topped Billboard. It also spawned five top five singles that positioned Jackson as a force in modern music, while its music videos exhibited her smooth dance moves. Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation 1814 became another chart topper in 1989. As co-writer and co-producer, Jackson used an R&B, electronic, and sample-heavy sound to explore socially conscious themes. The multiple platinum certified effort became the first album to produce seven top five singles, and it was supported by a successful world tour that confirmed Jackson's live talents. Jackson's good fortune continued in 1991. Virgin Records offered her a multi-million dollar contract and she married again. Following a Luther Vandross duet, Jackson released her third chart-topping disc in 1993. In addition to her signature R&B, pop and rap blend, Janet incorporated hip-hop, house, and jazz into its sexy tracks. These sensual songs, along with a provocative Rolling Stone cover, showcase the pop star's more liberated side. Janet became the highest selling album by a female solo artist and generated six top tens, including the Grammy winning That's the Way Love Goes and the Oscar nominated Again. That ballad also appeared in Jackson's big screen debut, 
Poetic Justice. Next was her top five duet with Brother Michael and its seven million dollar Grammy winning music video. Jackson then became the first female with a Billboard Top 10 debut single thanks to Runaway off her first Greatest Hits compilation. After negotiating a history-making $80 million virgin contract, Jackson took the Velvet Rope to number one in 1997. The darker and more personal CD had racy lyrics, but also tackled serious issues like abuse and discrimination. Meanwhile, Together Again became a bestseller. Following a world tour and several collaborations, Jackson appeared in the Nutty Professor sequel. Ah, <laughs> Professor Clum. Oh, <clears throat> Professor Gaines, how are you? I was hoping I might be able to sit in on your lecture. I'm sure we can accommodate you since you were so quiet coming in. Her soundtrack contribution topped Billboard and appeared on 2001's All For You. <laughs> That Grammy-winning R&B dance pop record and its title track also went to number one. Jackson continued collaborating and touring, but things went sour in 2004 when a wardrobe malfunction partially exposed her breast during her Super Bowl 38 halftime show performance with Justin Timberlake. Despite her apologies, a top two debut, and three Grammy nods, that year's sexually charged Demita Joe failed to recapture her earlier commercial success. Two years later, she had another top two album with 20YO. After the comedy drama Why Did I Get Married, Jackson was back on top with 2008's Discipline. Sadly, in 2009, her brother Michael died and her long-term relationship with producer Jermaine Dupri ended. Over the next years, Jackson acted, toured, and released two greatest hits compilations, while also undertaking numerous fashion ventures, charity work, and marrying a wealthy businessman. Besides singing, dancing, and acting, Janet Jackson is a humanitarian and fashionista. But it's her performing skills and the memorable beats and hooks of her slickly produced tunes that will remain forever ingrained in R&B and pop music. For more profiles of your favorite musicians, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.